It's about a block of wood. It's a piece of pine that are given to the boys each year, and we run a race. Uh, dads and sons, scouts help out. We had this idea um, based on a conversation I had with a reporter at the dispatch about his son's Pinewood Derby through the Cub Scouts and how crazy it got just with the parents and the kids making their cars. And we started talking about how cool would it be if scientists got to build their own cars. We have Battelle Memorial Institute, we have Edison Welding Institute, we have Ohio State University Automotive Research Center, and we have a Cub Scout himself. It's really kind of cool to be racing against these really big dogs. Most of grade school I did Pinewood Derby competitions and I didn't know any of the physics knowledge I have now, so then it was just about making your car look really cool. We gave each of them two kits um, that come with their Cub Scout Pinewood Derby and we asked one of them to conform to uh, Cub Scout rules. And then the second car we said go crazy on. Do whatever you want, engineer the heck out of this car so it will race fast. Really the only propulsion of the car is the weight of the car. So you want to increase the max amount of potential energy which means you know if the car is like this we want all the weight to be as high off the ground as possible. We're going to take this block of wood and metaphorically slice it into tiny thin sheets on each sheet is going to have a different pattern and then we're going to reassemble the pattern and create a design that you could get really no other way. This has very little to do with aerodynamics in this race because the cars don't don't go fast enough so aerodynamics really don't come into play. It's all about reducing friction, getting the car to roll straight, adding potential energy via weight. As for the race itself, we have this beautiful uh, aluminum track and there'll be four heats. There are four tracks, four cars, and we're going to run four heats for each race. The uh, car with the lowest cumulative time will be declared the winner. Two, one. That was close. Three, two, one. We're going to be handing out trophies for all places. We're going to start with fourth place, which goes to Team Battelle. Third place, Team Edison Welding. In second place, Kyle the Cub Scout. Congratulations. And in first place, I think they know this, Team OSU. Congratulations. Simplicity does have its place in racing, I guess. Yeah, we really, I mean, we really put all of our time into, um, you know, what it, I guess, where it needed to be. The car isn't very pretty, you know, but it ran really well. The really most important thing is probably the graphite. And if you don't polish the wheels, that also make it go a little slower, too. Our cheater car, our outlaw car, um, really that was uh, designed kind of a, uh, we looked at it kind of a cool factor. It, it, it's representative of the work we do, but we also wanted it to, to go fast, so we really we put a lot of, of weight into the vehicle. So the optimal case would have as much weight on the downhill and less weight when you're on the flat part. So we're adding a big, large weight that sheds when you get to the flat stretch. It's tungsten welding rod is the axle. Yeah. So, and I think, yeah, they're milled aluminum wheels. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah. <laughs> we got none of that stuff. Well, you know, we have a, a $30 million worth of equipment and a 130,000 square foot manufacturing laboratory. Yeah, so. exactly. We have some scrap metal and the top top from a, but, a can. You know, at the end of the day, it's about creativity. Yeah. And the winner is Team Battelle. Yeah. I think it was great. I mean, just to be all these guys who are engineers and know how to do this better than I do. They have these $30 million tools, and we just have a power drill. So it's really cool. I learned that uh, Cub Scouts are really good at Pinewood Derby. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we should leave it to the professionals. We're, we're just amateurs when it comes to Pinewood Derby. But it's a lot of fun. You can read a lot of science and engineering, and, and everybody had a great time.